All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be seeing how we can enable digital ocean metrics on your droplet. So if you click on your droplet, you're going to see that in the graphs section, you see, um, you know, you see three graphs. It's OK. It's fine. But we can do better than that. Right. You have very less details at the moment. So we can get a lot more details when you opt in for the new metrics for your digital ocean. Now for this, what you need to do is if you're creating the droplet, that is if you're creating it from this menu right here, you're going to see that we did not check that <clears throat> one box which said that do you want monitoring or not. So if you're creating the droplet and you want monitoring baked in, you can check this and be done with it, right? But we did not do it for our digital ocean tutorial droplet. So <clears throat> we have to do something like this in our case, right? So what we want to do in this case is using this link, you see that what you have to do is just install, just run this script, this little script right here. You can just go ahead and watch the script first as well if you want. But, uh, um, you know, you can just go ahead and do that. But before that, it just says that you want to uninstall the legacy metrics agent as well. So let's just go ahead and run that first of all. Once you do that, you're going to see that if you do not find it, if you do not find the package digital ocean agent, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and run this instead. And we're going to see that it will set up, it will download the script, it will configure the packages and it will run it for you automatically. So once that happens, what's going to happen is that if you go back and take a look in your graphs, just refresh this, you're going to see that now you would have a lot of graphs. Right. So previously you just had CPU and um, I guess the um, the bandwidth graphs, you're going to get bandwidth graphs again, but it will just take a, a bunch of minutes to just boot up right correctly so that the data populates. Meanwhile, it's populating. What we can do is we can go ahead and install app get install stress. So it's just a, it's just a package which would allow you to burn your CPU cores a little so that we can actually see whether that's reported correctly in the DigitalOcean console or not. So I'm going to say stress my CPU for with one worker and just give it a timeout of 30 seconds, right? So there's that. And in fact, we can just, you know, just go into the droplet. Actually, let me just go ahead and do that first. I'm going to install htop as well, a very nice tool for um, you know stats so now let's just go ahead and stress our CPU and inside edge top you're gonna see that we are actually in fact burning our CPU core at 100% while this is running the stress script is running right so that should be reflected in our graph as soon as we have some data for the digital ocean graph to show and it will just take a little bit of time and you can see now we, st we have started getting data for our graph. So let me just go ahead and run it for 30 more seconds. And we should be able to see a high CPU usage um, in the DigitalOcean console as well. And you can clearly see that after waiting for some minutes, you're going to see that CPU usage spikes to almost 100 here. And you get other usages as well. So it's working just fine. Now, one of the cool things about this is you can actually create an alert policy as well. So you see that if CPU is, you know, your CPU is running about 70% or maybe 80% for more than five minutes, that is a sign that something is happening on the server and something should not be consuming that much CPU, right? So you can just get yourself an alert via an email or you can connect your Slack and you can just specify the droplet here. You can just name it DigitalOcean you know, whatever your name was droplet was, and you can create that policy. And again, this is free of cost. So you do not have to pay anything for the alert policy to DigitalOcean, which is pretty good. So yeah, that's how basically you're going to enable monitoring for DigitalOcean. And that's how it will work. And that's all for this video. I'll see you then in the next one real quick.